Denzel, that's what you said. My Lord, my Lord. You played your role as Malcolm, but in prison, you said, Jesus ain't did a blank and a blank for me. Yeah. And now you out trying to be a motivational speaker. Put God first, hypocrite. Amen. Liar. You can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. For by thy words thou shalt be justified. What's the gentleman name that played as the Black Panther? Chadwick Bozeman. Mr. Bozeman that passed away? Passed away. One of his last movies. Mm. Based upon the true story of an old blues singer. Yeah. But a certain excerpt, they gave him about five minutes of relentless blasphemy. My Lord, my Lord. He called Jesus M-F-S-O-P. He said, God is of this, God is of that mother. So just without interruption, mm. did this while his cancer was eating wow. his body. My Lord, my Lord. Mm. You get mad at me much as you want. Go ahead, brother. You have a God yeah. that you must meet. That's right. You have a God you must meet. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care. I'm not over the air to be loved by nobody. That's right. I ain't over the air to be your friend. Go ahead. I'm over the air to tell you what's right. Preach it. You actors, actresses, you're blasphemous. Yeah. Mm. How in the world can you claim you're a Christian and if somebody offer you $30 million, you are drop your draws, brother, and yeah. knock up a man. Go ahead. For $30 million, Go ahead. you'll be a hoe for Paramount? Go ahead, man. You'll be Preach a it. hoe for Warner Brothers. Preach it. You'll be a hoe for Tyler Perry Studios. Preach it. Talk back to me. Go ahead. God said, let us make man. Make man. Go ahead, brother. You are an embarrassment Go ahead, of God's creation. Go ahead. Money will make you drop your jaw yeah. and knock up a man. And yeah. you a man. Yeah. Money. Money. Make you call Jesus a SOB. Mm. A mother this. Mm. A mother that. A mother the other. My Lord, my Lord. And they ain't gonna lie. God ain't do a MF and thing for me. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, help. Help. Mm. The more foul and wicked a movie is, the more your peers salute you. That's truth. That's very true. And the more society enjoy Sorry. it. Yeah. And you fake Christians are at the top of the list. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you can't take a pit bull like me. No. You wish I was like your pastor, a kitten. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God made me a preacher. That's it. When you're not preaching for money, you can preach freely. That's right. That's right. The entertainment industry now are the largest spoke people for religion. For religion. Along with politicians. Yeah. The preachers is talking the language that the entertainment industry is telling them to talk. That's true. That's true. So when these fake Christians join the Church of God in Christ, <laughs> Chris Tucker's supposed to be in the Church of God in Christ. Denzel Washington's supposed to be in the Church of God in Christ. Wow. 
What's that other actor, bald head? He's kind of like a skull. He cuss all the time. Samuel Jackson. Mm. Church of God in Christ. Wow. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Foul mouth, hell mouth. deserving things. Yeah. You cannot get sweet and bitter water same from the same fountain. fountain. That's right. That's right. How can you love Jesus then call him an MF? Mm. Mother this, mother that. Mm. Your money ain't going to keep you out of eternity. No, it won't. You can have your mansion. You can have a toilet that you need to elevate it and get up to the top of it. <laughs> and you got little men standing on the rim. <laughs> guiding you in with a crane. <laughs> That's something. You can have everything at your fingertips. You don't have to do nothing. Mm. Somebody wash you, somebody bathe you, somebody comb your hair, somebody brush your teeth, somebody wipe your backside. Someone put your pants on, put your socks on, put your shoes on. I want to make it so plain, I'll rob you from being stupid when you <laughs> meet right. God. That's right. That's right. And you preachers out there say, he's too vulgar, he's too vulgar. <laughs> but you don't say that when you look at the movie. You don't say that movie that you love that you'll pay to go look at is too vulgar. No, they won't. I'm going to tell you so plain, you got to go to hell. Were they Jesus. ashamed when they you had got to go to hell? That's right. When you meet Jesus for hearing this plain preaching. That's right. That's right. Listen at this. In Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 15. Right, were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? No. Nay, they were not at all ashamed. I told you. Neither could they blush. They wasn't even shy. <laughs> That's right. They wasn't shy to make Brokeback Mountain. No. No shy, no shame, nothing. Nothing. That wasn't shame. No. Well, we just acting is not for real. Not in Jesus' eyes. No, no. That's where you make your mistake. That's right. It's just a script. Ah, not in God's eyes. God eyes. Jesus said by thine word. Thou shalt be justified. Thou shalt be justified. And by thy and words. And by your word. Thou shalt be condemned. You're going to go to hell by what you say. What you say. Or you will be saved by what you say. Yeah. That's Jesus' teaching. That's right. Isn't it? In Matthew chapter 12 and verse 37. That's what? For by thy words. I in the world you claim you're a Christian and you comfortable with. Don't even blush. That's right. Read in the script. MF, mother this, mother that, mother the other. They were not at all ashamed. And you ain't ashamed. Neither You're could not they. ashamed. Not ashamed. Not at all. Well, you say F Jesus. Mm. Not ashamed. F God. That's something. Rappers that make videos like they in hell, dancing and partying and having an orgy in hell. My Lord, my Lord. Playing. My Lord, my Lord. Get an image of a, of a statue of a crucifix mm. and act like he humping on it, grinding on it. Oh, my God. Want to tell the image that's supposed to be Jesus what he wanted to do with him. My Lord. Don't blush. Were they ashamed? Were and they get a mass crowd of young people. Young people. Yeah. Fathers and mothers. That's truth. You are sick people. That's right. You are satanically sick. You are satanically possessed. And you are satanically evil. Yeah. That's why That's many right. of you looking at me now, you are bawling mad at what I'm preaching. <laughs> because right. you, your husband, your wife, your children are guilty. You are perverts. You are satanic lovers. And you hate the Bible. That's right. And you're going to hell. That's right. Now, let the devil make you feel good and let the devil warm your heart and turn on T.D. Jakes. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He's just like you. That's right. Jakes talk about homosexuality. Well, some churches have their philosophy and another church, and another, and another church have their philosophy. Uh, uh, philosophy uh, differ from religion. I believe that uh, we, we, we need to take a step, a step back 
That's step right. back That's and right. look at it at a much more perspective. Yeah. A man knocking up a man. Now, I don't care how far back you step. <laughs> That's right. All right, now, let's go back and take a step back. Uh-oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> he, he's still knocking up that man. Amen. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, there he is. He is. <laughs> Still knocking up that man. That's right. Preach it, brother. These men done gather riches and not buy right, right. and the money have handcuffed them yeah, to they, the devil. That's right, that's right. And have took away their manhood. That's right. Until they're scared yeah. to be a man for God. For God. So instead of being a man for the God of heaven, they are willingly and voluntarily a man for the God of this world, yeah. the devil, yeah. Satan, Abaddon, Apollyon, right. the wicked one. Mm. So the churches have collapsed yeah. like dominoes. Yeah. And the people have fell in love with the devil with the name Jesus in their mouth. They eat up the sin of my people. Do you hear this? In Hosea chapter 4 and at verse 8. They eat up. They eat up the sin of my people. The sin of my people. And they set their heart. They set their heart. On their iniquity. On their iniquity. And there shall be like people. Wait like, a minute. Mm -hmm. Just like the people is. Like priests. That's the way the people are. That's right. Like people, like priests, like priests. You better hear, this better hear this last day message. Oh, yes. This is the message for the last days. You can write all the rappers, write all the entertainers. Once we get Studio 27 rolling, I'm going to give some of these entertainers an invitation. Yeah. Especially them that claim they're Christians. Yeah. I want to take excerpts of certain movies they were in. Statements they made. And then I'm going to give them a chance to tell me how you're justified. Right. And I'm going to have script right next to the hip. Amen. With the Bible. Amen. You're going to have to justify your movie script with the Bible. That's right. What are you doing? I'm showing you you're going to hell. That's right. That's right. I'm showing you. That's right. You're going to hell. I want to show you in a conversation. Sure. So Denzel, Preach it, brother. if you're brave, we'll be reaching out to you. Wonderful. Samuel, you can cuss until the Lord come. Yeah. I'll be reaching out to you. Yeah. That's wonderful, man. Ain't nobody nothing but dust. That's it. That's the way God made you. That's all we are. That's the way I look at you. That's right. That's Us right. rich folk got power. You ain't got nothing. Behold the, the nation. God got power. That's right. How much? All of it. All of it. That's right. His money loving Tyler Perry became rich by committing abomination. Yeah. Dressing like a woman. Ain't nothing funny about it. Go ahead, brother. Acting like a sissy. Yeah. Now up trying to be a motivational speaker, a preacher. <laughs> Still making money from a deer and still trying to motivate. Motivate what? Who, who's motivating? <laughs> Is it Madea or Tyler? Yeah. You trifling, no mm. good things that play with the name of the Lord Jesus and you Jesus. preachers are scared to say anything because you feel honored for these fakers coming in your church. That's right. When Tyler gave Jake that million dollars, Jason like something that came out of a carnival. Yes, he did. Tyler went off on that fake tongue. Then laid his hands on the devil. And Jake stood there on television. Then after he did that, he went into another thing. The devil kept, the devil kept uppercut. Yeah, upper, that's right. <laughs> that wasn't no Holy Ghost. No. That was a million dollar ghost. That's right. Oh, no Holy Ghost. 
That was a million dollar ghost. You sick religious things keep playing with God. Yeah. You're going to remember when your Lord appear up in the heavens. That's right. Go back to the book of Matthew quickly now so I can knock off Matthew 7, 21. Back in Matthew 7 and verse Read 21. Fast. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord. Who give me correct time, brothers? Amen. Read quick. Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yes. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. What is it? Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Uh -huh. And in thy name have cast out devils? Uh -huh. And in thy name done many wonderful works? All right. And then will I profess then unto them. Then the Lord going to talk. I, and then will I profess unto them, I never I knew you. I ain't never know you. Depart from me. Get away from me. Ye that work iniquity. You work a bunch of sin. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, what? I will liken him unto a wise man. What happened? Which built his house upon a rock. And, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew. And, and beat upon that house. And, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Up. But what? And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not and don't do them. shall be likened unto a foolish man. What's happened to him? Which built his house upon the sand. And what's the result? And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house. And, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. So, viewers, you can praise and try to make these fellas Christians all you want. Yeah. A man is not like Christ until he do what the Bible, Bible. say do. That's right. And this is the introduction of being Christ-like. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Acts 2, 38 says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Not bow your head. That's right. Not raise your hand. Not accept Christ as your personal Savior. No. Not join some church. Not go to some Catholic church and then go to a preacher and let him throw water on your head. Then Peter said unto them, Not Repent. Not hold a hand to some preacher and he tell you to repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Come into my heart. Wash me. Cleanse me. Why this snow? Then the preacher said, You saved. You no more saved than a duck got the lips of a human. <laughs> That's right. And still say quack, 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 quack. That's right. Not at all. Then Peter said unto them, repent. You got to be sorry about your sins. That's Death right. is knocking on your door now. Yeah. Over a half a million people is dead already. Amen. From the virus. Yeah. The virus is out. Yeah. Man trying to tame it, but right. God's still letting it roam free. That's and right. you're still dying. That's right. With no God. Yeah. I'm warning you. Amen. You can hate me all you want. They ain't worth the sweat running down my face. No. The word of God says. Then Peter said unto them, repent. What is hating me going to do for you? Does Amen. it make you feel better? Then you hate on. <laughs> if it make you feel better, get it out. Hate on now. That's right. All right, time's up. Is this what you got to do? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. Every one of you. How much? In every one of you. How much in Hollywood? Every one of you. What every, about the Democrats and Republicans? Every one of all you. All of Congress. Every one of you. All of the White House. Every one of you. All entertainers. Every one of you. Amen. What? Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. That's how you get your sins removed. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy oh, Ghost. Oh, and tell Pastor Jenner, I got the Holy Spirit. That's nice. You That's still nice. got to be baptized. That's right. I said you still got to be baptized. Repent and be baptized. Yeah. Give me the tip, chapter the book of Acts. Acts chapter 10 and at verse 44. God, let's see where it actually happened. While Peter yet spake these words, While Peter yet spake the, the, word, Holy, the Holy Ghost, Ghost fell on all, all them which heard the word. That heard the word preached. And they of the circumcision which believed that were astonished. They that believed were made. As many as came with Peter. Because. That on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know it? For they heard them speak with tongues. Wait a minute. What was poured out? Also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know it? For they heard them speak with tongues. What was poured out? The gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know it? For they heard them speak with tongues. You ain't speaking tongues. Stop lying and say you got the Holy Ghost. That's right. So I'm saying, Pastor Jenner, but that's not the only gift of the Holy Spirit. I agree. That's not the only gift. But when you receive it, this is the gift right here. Also was poured out the gift of the Holy and Ghost. And then the other gifts follow after that. That's right. Uh -huh. For they heard them speak with tongues. And what? And magnify God. Now here you had a group that received the Holy Ghost first. But Peter wouldn't let them get away. Then answered Peter, can any man forbid water? That's what I'm saying to you. Mm -hmm. I got the Holy Spirit. That's your business. That's right. You don't have water. Can any man forbid water? Now, can you forbid it? That these should. Yeah. Or can you forbid it? Mm -hmm. You running around, Amen. jumping in some church, shaking, falling out, wringing your hands like you're trying to get rid of the kinks. That's right. 
Can you forbid water? Can any man forbid water? That what? That these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. Then what? And he commanded them no, to No, you don't have to do it. He commanded them to be baptized. No, I'm bishop said as an outward sign of inward grace. He commanded them to be baptized. No, you can be saved without water. You don't have to do it. He commanded them to be baptized. If the Bible commands something, you got to do it. Got your pastor it. got to do it. Your fake apostle, your fraud prophet, your good for nothing bishop, your weak elder, your half pint deacon. And he commanded them to be baptized. Hey, mister, you got to do it. That's right. Woman, you got to do it. You can shake your hips and push your finger up at me at the television all you want. Brother, you can open up your Budweiser and juggle down your bed while you in bed with your transvestite. That's right. That's right. The Holy Ghost said. He commanded them to be baptized. I'm going to smash it into hell. Smash it. I'm going to smash it right back to hell from which it came. That's right. And I'm going to use the Bible here. That's right. And, and he commanded them to be baptized. He commanded them to be baptized. In the name of the Lord. All right. If there's anybody here who don't want to go to hell and want to be right and be saved according to the Bible, and want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and do it right. Stand on your feet now if you want to obey the Bible. Stand on your feet now. Stand on your feet now. Amen. All of you that are standing, all of you that are standing, go around to the back and come around and come to the front. All of you that are standing, come on now. Over to God. All right, viewers. You got to repent now. You heard the message. You heard it. I know you don't like it. I may. I know a lot of you made mad, and I know a lot of you gonna take some excerpts and probably put it on Instagram. Yeah. Do what you want. We'll sue you. I don't care. <laughs> That's right. You can sue me whatever you like. I ain't giving you a dime. That's right. As I said before, so sad now again. Oh, yeah. You got to obey this because you're an actor or actress. What is that to God? Yeah.